Hey, it's Doug from Rise Above Performance Training, and I have another book and workout for you. Let's check it out. About a week back, we did a video on a bookend workout. If you haven't seen it, check it out in the card above. What a bookend workout is, is we've made three blocks, one upper body, one lower body, and one core. We started with an exercise for one round, and then did an exercise for single sides, and then bookended that with the first exercise again. The first one we're gonna do is the upper body. We're gonna be on the floor, and we're gonna do a pullover. So I'm gonna take a weight, either a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You can have your knees bent or legs straight. Either way, you want a flat belly button. Knees bent will give you a little more support with the legs, and you're gonna control back, keeping your belly button down. So you'll do this for your reps or time. The second exercise will be a single sided and we'll do a chest press. Again, you can have your legs straight, both legs up, or I like to keep one up sometimes. We'll be at about a 45 degree angle with the elbow, pull and press. You'll do that on both sides and then finish up again with that pullover to bookend it. For the lower body, we're gonna do a goblet squat. So we're just tuck everything in and just perform our squat. For the single sides, any kind of lunge, forward, back, side, uh, however you wanna hold the weight, good. So I'm gonna hold it low, I'll do a lunge on this side, and then when either my time's up or my repetition's up, we'll go to the other side. And then once again, I'll bookend that with the goblet squat. For the core, I made it a little bit more challenging. Uh, we've been doing these recently for our home workouts. We'll be in a push-up position at the top and then alternating knee tucks. So we'll be here, pull the shoulders down, and we'll keep our core strong, pulling our knees in. And then working on that get-up, we were doing half-kneeling hip hinges. It's okay to do these without weight. We're gonna be in this triangle position where our heels are lined up with our feet, hand here, arm here, and we're gonna hip hinge towards the floor, tighten our core and come back. So if you do that with weight, I'm gonna press up. I'm not gonna sink my hip. You can use your hand on your thigh to find the floor. When you get here, you're gonna stay tight and then drive up. Control down and drive up. And again, we'll do that on both sides and then finish up again, bookending it with that plank position, alternating knee tucks. You can make this however uh, difficult you want or however easy you want. If you want to start now, make it for reps. Let's say five reps each, then move on. If you want a little bit more cardiovascular intensive, set it up for time. Generally, we do 45 seconds of work, 15 second break. Again, if you need a quick workout, one round is good. If you have a little bit more time, try two or three. If you really want a challenge, change the time each time. Start with 30 seconds on, 15 off, then go to 40, 50, 60, however you want to do it. The workout is yours. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching. If you like the video below, please like it. If you really like the video, please consider subscribing as we try to put out a new one every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay strong. Rise above, we're gonna rise above. Make this sport what we say. Rise above, we're gonna rise above.